All right, so dear Matsons, what do you recommend as the best parenting approach when my tween and teen talk back to me? Yep, it's hard to not react, which is modeling exactly what I don't want them to do. Help! Sincerely tired of back talking. Okay, totally understand that. We have two teen girls, and I think we just want to start with the reality that it's a developmental stage, and it's easy to take it personal, uh, but this is a stage of their development that God created where they're learning how to use their own voice, express their own opinions. They disagree a lot with what we have to say, and they have hormonal shifts going on. Both male and females are happening. This is happening with, and so there's just a lot of internal angst going on. So patience and grace for this stage, and at the same time, don't tolerate it and normalize it so much that this is how teens talk to their parents. That drives me nuts, to be honest, because you're setting your child up for uh, an unhealthy marriage. I mean, how we talk to each other is a really important life skill to be able to be heard and to say it in a tone uh, that matters. So we're normalizing, we're not taking it personal, but we're also th keeping the end in mind and trying to prepare our, our kids for life. Yeah, and so I mean, tone is important. So if you're in a conversation with your teen or tween and the, and their tone is way off and way out of line, saying, um, pausing and saying, just a second, uh, I want to hear what you have to say. I just can't hear it when it's when it's coming at me with that tone. You want to? Can we try again? And if we need to take a break, we can take a break and try again uh, later. But do you want to try that again even right now? Yeah. So giving the options and parameters uh, as to how to you know stay engaged. But uh, what you're willing to do and what you're not willing to do until tone can change is important. I'm laughing because don't be surprised if your teen actually uses that on you as well. Mm -hmm. When they're like, I want to hear you, but I can't hear you with that tone because <laughs> our girls actually have said that to me a couple times. And it, it's actually really sobering and uh, a good well. <laughs> reminder to say, oh, yeah, it goes both ways. Yes, right. And yes, so we're they're learning how to do healthy relationship <laughs> well. And so I've had yeah. to apologize and own my own tone at times. Now that could sound a little bit like, oh, well, we're you know, abdicating our responsibility as parents oh. or the power of control and trying to be friends with our kids. And no, 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 we're not saying that. We're saying that we're actually, it's, it's a life skill and it's important a part of parenting to show them what it looks like to have an equitable relationship. And so, yeah, if you're mm -hmm. in the wrong as a parent, the best thing you could do would be to say, I, I realize that I, my tone is wrong here and this isn't what I want to be modeling and to, uh, to ask forgiveness of each other. But when a parent does that to a child, that is powerful. Mm -hmm. It models what healthy relationships are supposed to look like. Yeah. You're not giving up power or trying to be your kid's best friend. You're always gonna be their parent. But lead them in the right way for the right, with the right reasons and right methods yeah. here and that. And you'll find um, that you actually have kids that are growing in their abilities to relate to others uh, better and are more prepared yeah. um, to be able to handle uh, life outside the home when you launch them. Yeah, and at a neutral time, talk about the why. Why tone's important, that we wanna have you, you be heard, I be heard, and what tone works for the both of you. So when you're outside of having a serious conversation in the car, or, you know, at night when you're lying in bed and, and catching up on the day, you can talk about, you remember how it went earlier today mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. and we just weren't doing well there and, and I reacted to your tone, blah, blah, blah be able to talk it through at neutral times. That's really helpful with teens instead of doing it in the moment when you're both hot, right? So hopefully that's helpful. It gets you started. Take a step back and uh, don't take it personal. It's part of the process. And uh, it's an opportunity to teach life skills here. And if you want to be working on this on a more regular basis and you're a mom of daughters, I've created these courses called Helping Moms Raise Confident Daughters. And you do a lot of practicing communication and building trust and relationship outside of these more um you know, typical teen parent moments. So check that out at cpguides.org. I think there'll be an incredible resource for you as you're walking in your relationship with your daughters. And uh, if you like what you're listening to, make sure you're subscribing to the Christian Parenting Channel as well. And remember that you're the perfect parent for this job and we are here cheering you on.